everyone. My name is Becky B and welcome to BKBX Kids. It's great to see you. Here at BKBX Kids, we act out stories without using any words at all. That's called being a, yeah, being a mime. Mimes are, actually, I told you all about what mimes do on that very first video on Monday. So you can go back and watch it. Right now, I'll just fast forward that part. No, mimes are, you my mimes are, good. We did it. Okay, today we are going to watch a story called Date Night. It's really fun. It's about going out on a date night with your special someone, getting a pizza slice and a glass of wine, and well, things don't go exactly according to plan. <laughs> Let's say one of the people on the date has a very heroic job. See if you can watch and see what I mean. <laughs> In this story, you will see the mimes use a technique we call proxy. That's when we use our hands to be puppets. Can you tell the moment where one of the puppets flies through the air? Now before we begin, let's check in with our mime friend Geraldine and see what feeling we're looking at today. Oh, happy! Geraldine feels happy. I can tell because she's smiling, not just with her mouth, but under her eyes. They go up a little bit into a smile. Do you know what happiness feels like? I do. It's raining in New York City today, and I love the rain. All right, let's watch date night and see if you can tell when we use that proxy and also when one of the characters, or both, are happy. After we're done, I'll teach you about proxy and we'll play a game. Okay, enjoy.
great. Okay, before we watched BKBX on stage, I asked you to see when the characters were happy. Could you tell when? Well, they were definitely happy at the end. Good thing too, that was a close call. Okay. I also asked you to see if you could tell when the mimes played with proxy. They used their hands to become a runaway train. And Blake, who played the superhero, used his hand to fly through the air, a little puppet of himself. Now I'm going to play a game with my little nephew, Roro. We're going to play a game called Puppet Puppet Magic Puppet all about proxies. Can you play along? And if you come up with a new proxy of your own, a new puppet using your hands, grab a grown-up, put it online, and share it with us. We'll be mine pen pals. All right, play along and enjoy. Okay, here's our game. This is called Puppet Puppet Magic Puppet. You ready? Here's how it works. First, we make a puppet out of our hands. Let me see your hands. Where are your hands? Thank you, Ted. Make you bigger. What about there yours, Where are your hands? There they are. Okay, now we make one finger like this. Let me see. And we put it as a mustache. Here's our puppet, our mustache puppet. Wiggle it, brush it out. And now we turn this puppet puppet into a magic puppet. Our magic puppet mustache can fly in the air. Ready, watch. Can you do it? Now catch it. Let's do it again. Catch it, Rowan, catch it. Okay. Ready for part two? Puppet, puppet, magic puppet. Now we have a little room. Let's see your hand. And the little puppet stands on it with two fingers. And they walk down. And they walk around. Hi, puppet. Hello. Now it's gonna turn into a magic puppet and it can fly. You ready? Can you make your puppet fly over there? And he lands back in his little room. Bye, puppet. Okay, ready for one last puppet? Do you remember how to make a snail? Hmm. Show me. Yeah, good. And then the shell on the back. They make the two fingers like this, like the little antenna, and then the shell on the back. Let's see your snail. Is that right? Is this, is this right? That's right. Now, how does a snail go fast or slow? Our puppet goes slow, but if it's a magic puppet, it can go fast. Ready? See your snail. Go fast. Hmm. Puppy, puppy, look how I know how fast it can go. <gasps> it was so fast it knocked over. Okay, do you have any ideas for what puppet you want to do next? I want to do a Becky puppet. <laughs> Becky puppet? Okay. I feel, okay. Like, I'm, I'm a, I feel Becky that I want a, a Becky puppet. Okay, let's see. A Becky puppet has two legs like this. Right? Let's see your two fingers. You can hold them up like this and then turn it upside down. Yeah. And a Becky puppet walks around. What else does a Becky puppet do? Oh, I know. It gives you a kiss. Let's see, use the camera. You do it. 
That's good. What else does a Becky puppet do? A Becky puppet dances. No, no, it can go like that. It does a hug? Yeah, no, on your face. On my face? A Becky puppet dances on the top of my head, on my face. Can you do it? Now when you're when you're <laughs> Okay, Ro, now you know how to play puppet puppet magic puppet. And when your brother wakes up from his nap, you can maybe use a Becky puppet and put it on the top of his head. Thanks for playing, Ro Ro. Now that's what I call family mime time. <laughs> you can play these games that we teach you at BKBX Kids with your family or your friends, either at home or over a Zoom call. Let us know how it goes. Today we looked at a happy expression, watched Date Night from BKBX on stage, and played Puppet Puppet Magic Puppet with me and my nephew. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Be well, have fun, and talk to you soon. Bye, everyone. Are you doing OK stuck inside so much? Yeah, well, we're, we're, we're going outside a lot, too. But now there's a thunderstorm with lightning. I and love that. You, and you can find the, and you can find flashes. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to look too? Yeah, I do. Dance. Look at that. I can do that. Oh, my God. Do dance. Happy dance. Happy dance. Happy dance.